There are two types of science. There's basic research, which is really looking at the fundamental principles and, and understanding uh, behind the scientific world. Mission-driven science, on the other hand, is, is applied science. It's, it's, it's really looking for an application for the research that one's actually doing. We need to look at uh, complicated systems from scientific point of view. And for GRID, uh, we stick with a scientific approach to look at critical issues in a scientific way that enable us to build the GRID model as a world-class life cycle analysis model and uh, people use. And of course, we benefit uh, from users' experience and we have a lot of interactions with users. The other thing in the time regime that's really, I would say, very mission-oriented, everyone drives their cars, everyone wants a really efficient um, engine. With this ability for the x-rays to make that flash image, they could actually make a better design of the injectors and thereby make more efficient engines for you. So I think, you know, the x-ray source, although it does amazing things from fundamental research of ribosomes and, you know, high pressure materials, it also does these mission oriented things that will really relate and give us a more secure uh, energy future. If electric vehicles are going to make an impact in the transportation sector, we have to get um, electric vehicles to go a little bit further. And batteries today just don't have the intrinsic energy per unit mass or per unit volume to become competitive. So there's a huge challenge uh, for us here at Argonne and throughout the world to advance materials technologies so that we can pack in more energy uh, into this smaller space. And I think that Argonne uh, is extremely well positioned to make a major contribution in the uh, immediate future and uh, hopefully in future generations.